How do you feel about gaming engineering versus other more general software engineering? Um, so how do I feel about uh, gaming, gaming engineering engin versus, versus software engineering? Yeah. Um, so, you know, this was, you know, kind of similar to the question you asked me before in terms of, um, you know, how the two did, you know, the, the kind of transition between the two of them. So I would say the industries, there's a lot to speak about the industries as a whole, right? The, the actual industry side of it, you know, the job opportunities and stuff is very different. The, on the technical side, I would say that um, I think, um, you know, gaming is more... I'm, so I don't even want to generalize because game. there's a lot of different types of games as well and there's a lot of different positions in gaming. Uh, but from my experience, I'll speak on my experience as a back-end engineer versus a gameplay programmer. So as a back-end engineer, um, you know, I think the, you know, there was a, a lot less concern with optimizing your code and it was more concerned with optimizing um, like larger systems like databases and, um, you know, trying to get trying to make sure that, um, you know, there were, the way we were, you know, the amount of times people were hitting our APIs was reduced and the ways we would cache and stuff like that. So there was optimization, but it was on a much more big data, you know, at a much more big data level. Um, but when it came to the code, you know, there was usually very little you could do to just like completely de-optimize the entire thing. So I think the focus there, a lot of it was we need to have really good design patterns. Um, I also was lucky enough to be able to like, we were building a new API from scratch. So, you know, we were moving off of a legacy API. Um, and so, you know, there was this, uh, you know, we were, there was a lot of different, we were interacting with a lot of different technologies and tools and open source technologies and things like that. And, you know, we were, you know, essentially just being able to build this whole thing from scratch. And even with the legacy API, it was very, um, you know, it was, there was all these tools that we were using from that were open source and things like that. And so it was very, it felt very collaborative. It felt very open. I can just Google things if I don't have it. You know, these were, again, open source tools that you could, like, look up if you needed, if you had issues. Gaming is not like that. So if you're working on an indie game, like I said, if you're working on Unity, then sure, it would be like that. If you're working at a place like Sledgehammer or you know Activision, um, you know a lot of this stuff is very internal. Again, I can't speak to the specifics of it, but a lot of it is like very internal. Um, so you know you can't just like look up everything. Um, a lot of the information is um, within the company, within the team, within the documentation of the company, things like that, um, and. Also, again, the, with gaming, the optimization is super critical. Like, you know, in you know, when you're working, the biggest difference is like, you know, when you're working in Java, you're using like, you know, strings and vectors and all of these super nice data structures that are like, wow, I don't even have to care about you know, I'm using all this awesome stuff, I'm using streams and stuff. When you're working at a gaming company, it's like, oh, I'm gonna pack bits into this integer so that we're actually using it. So there's all these things where you're like, oh, I'm going to ship these bits and I'm going to, you know, we don't use like strings, you'll use like character pointers instead of character stars, right? And so there's all of these things where it's just like, yeah, there's like, you know, <laughs> all the niceties that you have when you're in general tech just like disappear for optimization reasons. So, uh, yeah, I think that's the biggest difference is like when you're developing, a, you know, particularly if you're developing on an in-house engine, right? If you're not using Unity or not using Unreal, um, you feel like you can't just like make changes wherever you want, right? Like you can't just, do, you know, I can't, you can't use vectors at all, right? You can't. So anyways, I'm going into too much detail, but the point is, is there's a little bit of that intensity when it comes to what are your recommendations for learning all of these optimizations? Do you recommend people to learn more math or maybe C++ or maybe about memory, more yeah. operating systems? So I think, so I guess I'll start with this. So it depends on where you're going in the gaming industry for sure. 
Um, but you will not go wrong by starting with going with C++. I think the things that regardless of, you know, if you're a game, if you're a game programmer, so if you're like doing engine or rendering or physics or gameplay, whatever you're doing, you definitely are going to be using C++. Um, you definitely need to know memory management. You definitely, definitely need to know um, bitwise math, stuff like that. But that's like all C++ specific information for the most part. Um, the you again, you'll need to know vector math and you'll need to know stuff like that. Um, but it's the C++ is is definitely like more core, I would say. Um, and the way I studied it, um, like I said, I, I had textbooks, physics type textbooks, game physics, and C++ textbooks. Um, and again, I will share these with you as well. Um, but outside of that, it was a lot of, you know, just, I think, you know, there's, you can look up, like, I think if you look up how game engines work, it'll be really useful because you'll understand how, like, um, you know, pretty much how, you know, real game engines do memory pools and memory management and how they split up their different parts of their engine so that it's modular, things like that. So a lot of the, like, design aspect of it, you can learn, a lot of you can learn just on. You know, I, I don't think I, until I, you know, I think I, I didn't spend too much money. I think I was like, in all of my time learning games, I probably spent like, I don't know, like, I bought like two textbooks. Pretty much everything else was online, so you can definitely get away with most of it for free. And again, I will try to provide all of the resources that I used if I can.